Hey everyone, this lesson is on dietary triggers of migraine headaches. So we're going to talk about a large list of foods and beverages that are known to trigger migraine headaches in some individuals. So first let's talk about what migraine headaches are. They are pulsatile and often unilateral head pain that is often disabling and occurs with associated symptoms. So they are unilateral, which means they usually occur on one side of the head, and they're pulsatile, which means that they are pounding in nature. So they're a pounding or throbbing type of headache. And it's believed that the underlying pathophysiology of migraine headaches may be due to abnormal cerebral vasodilation or neuronal impairments. So abnormal cerebral vasodilation is where the vasculature in your head becomes dilated abnormally. And then there's also this possible issue of neuronal impairments as well. And these will tie into some of the dietary factors or dietary triggers we talk about later on in this lesson. So the following is a brief overview of a migraine headache. If you want more information, please check out my lesson on migraines. So first, a lot of times migraines have a prodrome. So there's a subset of patients that have prodromes with a migraine headache, which they have odd signs and symptoms that precede the migraine headache. A migraine headache can occur with or without an aura. There is often nausea and vomiting associated with a migraine headache. There can be photophobia and phonophobia. So photophobia is sensitivity to light. Phonophobia is sensitivity to sound. And then oftentimes migraine headaches are exacerbated or worsened by physical activity and better with rest and being in dark places. But the topic of this lesson is that migraine headaches can be initiated or triggered by a wide variety of dietary causes. We're going to talk about those dietary causes in the next upcoming slides. So what are some dietary triggers of migraines? So a lot of what we're going to talk about in this lesson comes from this review article entitled Headaches, a Review of the Role of Dietary Factors. So the first one we're going to talk about here is caffeine. So caffeine is a methylxanthine stimulant, and caffeine acts as an antagonist at adenosine A1 and A2A receptors. And the reason I bring this up is because adenosine seems to be linked to cerebral vessel vasodilation. And as we mentioned before, migraines appear to be related to abnormal cerebral vasodilation. Now, 6.3 to 14.5% of individuals who have migraines report caffeinated beverages like coffee as a trigger of migraines. And the interesting thing that we also see is that caffeine can be used to treat headaches as well. So there is this property of caffeine where caffeine can actually improve headaches in some instances and then if an individual has a lot of coffee and they stop coffee for a while, they can get rebound headaches. So there is some connection here with caffeine and migraines. But caffeine does seem to play a role as a trigger in some individuals who get migraines. So some examples of caffeinated beverages that may trigger a migraine in some individuals include caffeinated coffee, tea, soft drinks, and energy drinks. Now another related dietary trigger of migraines is chocolate. So chocolate contains many vasoactive biogenic amines as well as caffeine. So again, it contains caffeine. And as we mentioned before, caffeine may be a trigger of migraines in some individuals. And we see this word here, vasoactive. So chocolate has vasoactive biogenic amines, which may potentially lead to cerebral vessel vasodilation as well. And 1.4 to 22.5% of individuals report chocolate as a trigger of migraines. So a little more variation here with regards to it being a possible trigger in some individuals. So again, caffeine, methylxanthine stimulant that acts as an antagonist at adenosine A1 and A2A receptors, and adenosine is linked to cerebral vessel vasodilation, which is why it may be a trigger of migraine headaches. And then chocolate is also a trigger of migraines as it has many vasoactive biogenic amines as well as caffeine. Another trigger of migraine headaches is monosodium glutamate or MSG. So monosodium glutamate is a common food additive that provides a savory taste or umami. So it is the amino acid glutamate that gives it that flavor. And what is interesting to note with regards to migraine headaches caused by MSG consumption is that MSG after being eaten may trigger a migraine within one hour. So it's qu pretty quick and the migraine often resolves within 72 hours. And then what's also interesting to note here is that migraines caused by MSG often have additional associated symptoms. And there's a long list of associated symptoms, including face flushing. 
So where the face becomes very red, face and chest pressure can occur. Burning sensation in the neck and shoulders can occur. Dizziness and abdominal discomfort can also occur. So MSG, important trigger for migraine headaches, and it can trigger a migraine within one hour. And it has additional associated symptoms, as we mentioned here. So where can we actually find MSG? MSG can oftentimes be found in certain seasonings, chips. So a lot of chips like Doritos can have MSG. Processed meats can also have MSG. We can see it in fast food, instant noodles, and Chinese food. Now we can also see nitrites and nitrates being triggers of migraine headaches as well. So nitrites and nitrates are commonly used as food preservatives. Nitrites can be processed to nitric acid, which has vasoactive properties. So this is the reason why we see nitrites being a cause of migraine headaches. And it's also noted that in individuals who are experiencing an episode of migraine headaches, that their plasma nitrite levels are higher during those migraine attacks. Where can we see nitrites and nitrates? Nitrites and nitrates can be found in processed meats. Oftentimes we can see it in hot dogs, bacon, and salami, those types of processed meats. So again, nitrites and nitrates, they are food preservatives. And nitrates themselves can be processed to nitric acid, which is a vasoactive compound. And we can find nitrites and nitrates in things like processed meats. Another dietary trigger of migraines is aspartame. So aspartame is an artificial sweetener, and it has mixed evidence as to whether consumption of aspartame triggers migraine. So some evidence suggests that it does trigger, and some evidence doesn't seem to support this. But in individuals who may be triggered by aspartame consumption, it might trigger in approximately 9% of migraine patients. And where can we see aspartame? Aspartame can be found in diet beverages. So quote-unquote diet beverages like Diet Coke, Diet Pepsi. And we can also see it in certain types of chewing gum as well. Now tyramine is also another dietary trigger of migraines. You might be wondering what tyramine is. Tyramine is a biogenic amine and it's derived from the amino acid tyrosine. And there's some mixed evidence again as to whether tyramine does trigger migraines or not. Again, some evidence suggests that it does. And where can we find tyramine? Tyramine can be found in chocolate. So again, chocolate is another important dietary trigger to try to avoid. Wine and aged cheese. So again, wine and aged cheese specifically, these are common examples of where we can find tyramine. So again, aspartame, it's an artificial sweetener can be found in diet beverages. That's a possible trigger of migraine headaches. And then tyramine, which can be found in chocolate, wine, and aged cheese. And again, this is also a possible trigger of migraine headaches. Another dietary trigger of migraines is dairy. So vasoactive compounds such as tyramine, as we just mentioned, can actually be found in certain dairy products. We mentioned aged cheese before. But we can also see it in other types of dairy products as well. So Tyramine can be found in aged cheese, as we mentioned before. So 4.1-18.5% report aged cheese as a trigger. Some milk products, 2-3% to report as a trigger. And then some ice cream can also lead to triggering of migraine headaches in a very small proportion of patients, where we see about one2 to 4.6% of patients reporting ice cream as a trigger. Alcohol is also an important trigger of migraine headaches but we see that the reporting is quite variable. 1.4 to 51.6% report alcoholic beverages as a trigger of migraines. This probably is due to what we refer to as the alcoholic beverages themselves. Some are probably more likely to trigger migraines as opposed to others. So certain studies report a high percentage, whereas others show lower percentages, and it's probably the alcoholic beverages that are being studied. So certain Alcoholic beverages contain higher levels of vasoactive compounds, including sulfites, flavonoids, tyramine again, so tyramine is very important, and histamine. So what are some examples of alcoholic beverages that have higher levels of these vasoactive compounds? So some examples include wine, specifically red wine, beer, and then other alcoholic beverages like gin and vodka have less amounts. So again, this is possible reason as to why there's a variation in reporting of alcoholic beverages as a trigger. So again, dairy compounds can be a possible trigger of migraines because they contain tyramine, especially aged cheese, and then alcohol. 
because they contain a lot of these vasoactive compounds we mentioned before. And then red wine and beer have more of these compounds than other alcoholic beverages like gin and vodka. Now, the next dietary triggers we're going to talk about come from this article entitled Perceived Migraine Triggers. Do Dietary Factors Play a Role? So from that article, citrus fruits may be a possible trigger of migraines. And I use the word may very emphatically. So consumption of citrus fruits may trigger or increase risk of migraine headaches. Migraine with aura seems to be more likely to be triggered by citrus fruits than a migraine without aura. So certain examples of citrus fruits that may trigger migraine headaches include oranges, grapefruit, orange juice, and grapefruit juice. So orange and grapefruits more specifically. We can also see the possibility that walnuts may be a trigger of migraine headaches. So again, some evidence that consumption of walnuts may act as a trigger of migraine headaches, and it comes from evidence that is interesting. So individuals who suffer from migraines consume less walnuts than those who do not have migraines. So you can look at this in a couple of different ways. The way the authors of that study looked at it was that they thought that individuals who have migraines realized that walnuts are a trigger of their migraines, so they consume less walnuts than those who do not have migraines. So that is how they looked at it. So there may be a connection here, as we do see that individuals who suffer from migraines consume less walnuts than those who do not have migraines. So again, citrus fruits may be a trigger of migraine headaches, and then walnuts may be a trigger as well. And the evidence comes from the fact that individuals who do have migraine headaches consume less walnuts than those who do not have migraines. And some other dietary related triggers of migraines include fasting. And it was noted that during Ramadan, incidence of migraine headaches was three times higher. It seems that hunger may play a role in triggering migraines. And there's also this connection with water deprivation as well. Water deprivation is a common trigger of headaches, including migraines. So quite a variation in reporting here, but 0.8 to 82% report hunger and fasting as a trigger of migraine headaches. And then on the opposite side of the spectrum is overeating. So binge eating has been reported to occur in a large percentage of migraine patients, but it's not entirely clear that it's the act of overeating as opposed to the certain food selections that are being eaten. So could be the act of overeating. And if it is, it's a very small percentage of patients. It's more likely that fasting is a trigger as opposed to overeating. But if it is overeating, that triggers migraine headaches. It may be the act of overeating, but it may be the foods that are being eaten. So again, fasting, trigger of migraine headaches, may be related to water deprivation. And then overeating, again, may be due to act of overeating, but maybe do the food selections being eaten. So if you want to learn about non-dietary triggers of migraine headaches, please check out my lesson on that topic. And if you haven't already, please consider liking, subscribing, and clicking the notification bell to help support the channel and stay up to date on future lessons. Thanks so much for watching, and I hope to see you next time.